Hi guys, it is Mel with Mel Lauren Fitness. I am glad you guys could tune in. I know a lot of you, sorry, I'm trying to do it on two cameras. Um, I know I've tried this before and it didn't work out so well, but I am doing it this time. I know a bunch of people are gonna be at work and they'll be watching the replay, um, but I'm happy for anyone who is gonna be tuning in with me today. Um, today is going to be, Sorry, I'm gonna be walk, looking back and forth here. Today is gonna to be a different video than I've ever done before um, because I felt like if this was really necessary, I wanted to share something personal with people so that I could connect and hopefully help them on a deeper level. So I am in health and wellness, but what I do really when it comes down to it has very, very little to do with weight loss and lifting weights um, and I wanted to share my story today um, and how I got here but this is not about me this video is going to be hi Angie so I can see some of the people that are tuning in hi Brian um, this video is for you because um, I believe we all share a lot of the same experiences and traumas and I think we talk to ourselves a lot in the same way and I just felt like this was a good opportunity for me to connect with you guys and um, just kind of tell you my story and hopefully this will help you. Um, hi Jenny, how's it going? So, hey, Riley, Debra, hi guys, I just wanted to say hi to some of the people that are tuning in, hi Dala. You guys, if you can um, like and share this video, I really um, would appreciate that. Uh, if you guys don't like and share, not as many people are going to see it and it's not going to show up in their feed. So I'm hoping that I can get more people to watch this. Um, so this is, I'm going to be really honest. I'm going to come out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to share a lot of details because again, this um, video is not about me. Um, I'm just using parts of my experience to hopefully connect with you guys. Um, so this is how I got involved and this is how I feel like I changed my life. Um, when I was younger, I got abused and it affected me greatly. Um, it kind of changed who I was and how I saw myself. Um, I, my confidence was gone. I had a lot of negative self-talk and it led to a lot of negative events in my life and I feel like a lot of people can relate because we can all think back on traumatizing events in our lives and you feel like they just change who you are. Um, I know there's been times where I'm like, who would I have been if this did not happen to me? Um, the abuse that I went through, like I said, it changed a lot of things in my life and I did, I, I started drinking and that, um, I use that kind of as a numbing tool, and my drinking was, it was serious. I would say I had a drinking problem and I abused alcohol, and it led me down the wrong path. Um, my personality changed. I was not, you know, the fun-loving kid I was when I was younger. I became very secluded. Um, I didn't open up to people, I didn't trust people, and I kind of was in this little cave, and my drinking actually got me into a lot of situations that would not have happened, I believe, if this event hadn't happened to me when I was younger. So, and I mean, a lot of, I got taken advantage of a lot when I was younger and I was led down really scary paths. I got into trouble with my drinking. I got in trouble with the law. Um, I got into very scary situations with people and, um, it just really snowballed and it brought me to a place where I wanted to harm myself, where um, I was homeless, where I felt hopeless. Um, and I just had these, these negative things in my head that just, they just solidified that I was not worth it, I was not good enough, I was not lovable. Um, and again, I feel like other people can see that in you. If you are telling yourself you have this negative 
um, thing going on in your head, other people are going to read that off of you and that is how they're going to treat you and it's just going to reinforce how you feel. So the thing is that happened is one thing that helped me is fitness and it did help me get back some of my control because I can control what's happening to my body. It gave me back confidence because I could set goals and accomplish them and it made me feel strong. Like it gave me all of these things that I wasn't able to give to myself when I was younger. Um, what I've come to realize now, yes, fitness helped me and that is something that can help you too if you're struggling. You have to get control of your body and your health, but that's just one thing. The thing you really have to get control of is your mind and your brain. And this is, you have to stop being a victim when it comes to stuff like this. That event did not cause any of the other things that happened to me. That event did not cause the other traumatic things that happened to me. I may have used them as a crutch as I got older and I played the victim and I said, poor me, this happened to me, so how could I not, you know, do things this way? Um, how could I not become this shell of a person? Well, look at I am, you know, not, I'm not worth it. I'm not confident. I'm, I'm not, you know, none of these things are, are me. So, and this is why. When I finally decided to not use those as excuses, I realized that that event caused nothing in my life. The only thing that, ha that was causing me pain was myself. It was how I was speaking to myself, what I was telling myself. No one else needed to tell me these things because I was telling myself this. And so what you need to do is you need to change your mindset and the thing is, is how fitness and, and wellness can kind of be a part of this is when you move, it changes your emotions. Um, it, ch it changes you physiology, your physiology and it actually changes the way you feel. It changes um, your actions in the world. So I feel like what I have in common with a lot of people is that you hold on to that identity. This negative event in my life is now my title. I bring this along with me everywhere. Like, you know, your baggage. You just bring it along with you everywhere. But you are choosing to re-hurt yourself day after day. You are choosing to take on a persona that is not you. You are choosing to listen to the negative voices in your head, but none of them are telling you the truth. None of those things that are going on in your head are true. You have to, you get to choose who you are. You get to choose if you're confident. You get to choose how you show up in the world. And you get to choose every day. So I might have been affected to, uh, you know, this might have affected me and I might have taken on this role for a really long time, but I can stop right now. I can choose to say, these things happen to me, but these things aren't me. And I am confident and I am lovable and I'm strong and I am in control of my actions because I'm no longer a child and I get to decide who I am. And it doesn't really matter if other people don't you know, see me the way I see me because I am literally the only one that I have to live with for the rest of my life. So the main thing that I want people to take away from this is we all struggle. You have gone through things that have changed you, but it doesn't define you. It doesn't take away from the pain and the hurt and the things that have happened to you, you, I don't want you to say that now you have to take that away. It happened to you, you experienced it, but you can learn from it, you're stronger than that, and you don't wanna keep reliving that pain over and over again. At some point, you have to say, I'm done hurting myself, I'm done being punished for this one thing that happened, and I am ready to take control of my life, and I'm ready to move and make things happen. Emotions follow motion. So if you're sitting there and you're depressed and you're ruminating about every bad thing that's ever happened because of this one situation and all these unfair things that have happened to you over your whole lifetime and it all is because of this, you need to get up and change things. Moving helps. I was watching a Tony Robbins thing and it's like if you just sit there and you slump and you just allow yourself to feel these emotions and indulge in emotions and I'm so sad and, and I'm in so much pain, you just kind of look for more pain, you look for more sadness, you look for reasons to feel the way you do, 
you need to step out of that and move out of that. And it takes actual movement to change the way you feel. Um, you know, you feel happier. Well, I feel happier when I'm dancing. Um, people feel happier when they're dancing, they're singing. There's a reason because it changes your physiology. You feel better when you're moving. So if you're sitting there and you're feeling down and you're, you're just allowing all these emotions and, and you're just kind of trying to be sad, you know, you get into that position where you're, you're upset about one thing and then all of a sudden you're upset about everything and you're thinking about everything horrible that's ever happened to you. You need to put that to the side and you need to move. You need to get up. You need to take action. Even if it's just going for a walk, um, turning on some music that makes you happy, being grateful for the things you do have. It doesn't mean that those other things didn't have, but it's time to be grateful for what you do have. It's time to change things right now, today. And for me, the fitness exercise, that started it, but the changing my mindset, not being a victim anymore and taking control of things, that's where things really, really changed. So I wanted to just share that with you. Again, I didn't go into a lot of details because I don't want this to be about me. I just wanted this to be about you guys. And I'm hoping that you can see how your negative self-talk is what is really stopping you. And there's nothing in the world that can stop you except for you. And moving is the first key to changing how you feel. So if you wanna have positive emotions and positive self-talk, then you need to move you need to, you know, if that's whether it's exercising or, or what it is, you just need to, you know, take that on and that will help you. Um, I hope uh, my story helped you guys a little bit or um, if you guys have any questions, I don't know if anyone has any questions or anything or if this helped you. If you, you know, related to this at all, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share. If you related to this at all, if, I mean, I can't imagine there's no one out there who doesn't feel this way or hasn't felt like, we all deal with crap, like we all do. We've all been through something super traumatic and that it's changed us, but it's all the way you see it and it can either change you for the better or it can ruin your life, but the event didn't, you're doing it. So you need to stop and you need to take control and get moving. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you guys for tuning in again. This was super outside my comfort zone. I was super nervous to do this. Um, I'm still a little nervous, so I'll be happy when I get to turn the video camera off, but I'm glad I went through with it. And um, message me if you guys have any questions or you want to talk about anything. I'm always here, and I want you guys to get moving. I want you guys to be confident. I want you guys to take control of your life and I want you to be strong and that is why I am sharing and that is why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Again, it's not about the weight loss, it's about taking control of your life and not having excuses and not being a victim because you can do it and you will do it, hopefully starting today. So if you need any help with that, um, reach out to me and I will help you in any way that I can to um, get you moving, get you confident, get you strong. All right, guys. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And um, I'm going to start doing, hopefully, videos every Wednesday, maybe a little bit earlier. I actually had a, a coaching call um, a little bit later than I wanted to because they're in Florida and my times, I get them mixed up. So I'm thinking maybe noon on Wednesdays might be a good time. But if there's a better time for you guys, please let me know. Otherwise, if you liked it even a little bit, Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and share, and let's um, hopefully get this message out to more people that might um, find it helpful. All right, guys, I will talk to you later, and I'm turning two of them off right now.